Today I will show you how you can turn your chaotic literature review process into a streamlined AI workflow using the best tools out there to not only ease up the reading process and the note-taking process, but to actually make your literature review write itself and effortless. We will use AI tools such as Paperpaw, SciSpace, ResearchRabbit and Notion AI so that you have, by the end of this video, a great workflow for your literature review. Before we start with the video, just a quick introduction of myself Hi, if you haven't met me already, I'm Aynur. I'm a third year PhD student in chemical engineering at Imperial College London and I made it my mission to teach you every secret I know in academia, video by video, through all my social media channels. So without losing more time, let's dive right into the video and get ready for your AI literature review workflow. Step number one, planning and structuring your literature review. So before you even start with accumulating all these papers, reading through them, using AI whatsoever, you need to plan your literature review. How do you plan it? First of all, you have to define the broad scope of your work, okay? What is your literature review gonna be about? What is the topic about? Just really broadly, you need to know where this road is heading, okay? We need to set a goal before we can go and move towards that goal. So define your research topic and the literature review area. You can think of this like an inverted pyramid. So let's say you wanna do research about polar bears, my go-to example. So first you're gonna say, I wanna do research about polar bears. And then you do a bit more research on polar bears. And then you say, oh, I think polar bear skin is super interesting. I wanna do uh, research about polar bear skin. And then you do a bit more research on polar bear skin. And then you decide, oh, I wanna do research about this one pigment in that polar bear skin that is like super interesting. And then you do more research on that polar bear pigment in that skin. And this is how like you define your research topic um, more and more throughout the journey. But first you have to get like that broad idea. What's that gonna be, right? Now, this is the stage where we can include our first AI tool good old ChatGPT. So you can use ChatGPT to streamline your literature review process to give it a bit of a structure. I'm gonna insert a prompt here, use this one, and this will already give you like a starting point because it can be very overwhelming to start a literature review when you know nothing about the topic. And in that sense, ChatGPT is quite useful. So you can use this prompt, so then ChatGPT will draft you an outline, a structure, a basic structure, and then you can like adjust that structure to your need, but at least you have like some starting point of this, okay? So that concludes step number one uh, and structure your literature review before you even start with it. After you've got your basic structure down we can move to step number two and this is to find core seed for your literature review. What do I mean with seed literature? Seed literature are like the few maybe a handful of main articles, literature reviews and, and things that have been published in your area that already contain key aspects of your review okay and these are like amazing articles and once you find them you already have like a very very fundamental understanding of your research area so how can you find these seed articles using ai so how can you find these seed papers okay a conventional approach would be to use like google scholar pubmed or researchgate to browse through articles and find them while this would work it consumes a lot of time and is very unorganized and unstrategic so here is what I would recommend you to do instead. First of all, there are platforms such as Lens.org and they have much more filter mechanisms than these other platforms like Google Scholar have. So when you use Lens.org, you can filter through so many stuff and it makes it really, really so much easier to find the right seed articles and papers. What you can also do is you can upload potentially seed articles when you think okay this could be a seed paper you can upload it to research rabbit which is again a free tool and research rabbit will then create like a mind map out of all these articles will make it easier to find like related seed papers and to check whether these papers are really seed papers or not another useful tool is for example SciSpace where you can again um, upload these potentially seed papers chat with SciSpace the AI chatbot there um, and really like try to understand whether this paper is really a seed paper or not so like to find seed papers, use lens.org. To uh, find related papers to that seed paper, uh, use ResearchRabbit. And then finally, to understand these seed papers and to double check whether they're really as relevant as you think you are, use ResearchRabbit. All right, once you've gathered your seed papers and other related articles for your literature review, let's move on to step number three, which is to organize all the articles that you've downloaded, all right? So it's not just okay to just keep downloading stuff and dumping them into your file folder on your computer. There are smarter ways to do this. One of them is Notion. So you can organize all your paper 
in Notion. I've created a dedicated YouTube video for this where I explain step by step how you can set up your own Notion literature review database. But I've also created a template that you can download for the price of a coffee, five dollars, and you can just purchase it. So I've left it basically to you. You can either do it yourself by using the tutorial or you can, if you say, oh, I don't care, I don't want to deal with it, I'm just going to buy it, then you can just buy it through the link in the video description. So Notion, amazing tool because there you can uh, reference to all the papers that you've read, you can take beautiful notes, uh, create a data set, and this will really, really help you so, so much in then actually writing your literature review, where you can always refer to the summaries and the um, data that you've derived and put down into your data set at Notion. So highly recommend you to set that up yourself. Organize your literature. And also don't forget to use reference managers such as Zotero or Mendeley or Citavi, any kind of reference manager that you feel comfortable using. And always include them in your reference manager as well because like uh, the citation work of things really sucks when you then write your literature review and you haven't included them in your reference manager and then you have to do that afterwards uh, so just do it from the beginning and then you'll save a lot of time on the long way all right now we can move to step number four which is about analyzing and interpreting your research papers so it's all fun and games downloading all these papers sorting them putting them into a database right but at some point we have to actually read them and understand them and like you know derive information from them and this is where notebook lm comes in super handy so with notebook lm you can it's again a free tool it's from google's gemini ai feature so it's a free tool again i have a youtube video on this link here and with this tool you can upload a bunch of uh, papers all at once articles i uploaded 40 plus articles and then from that you can ask Notebook LM to create a table with a beautiful overview of all the work that you've did, uh, of, of all the information that these papers have. For example, for me, I needed to know the parameter range of all the experiments that these people did in these 40 papers. So I just asked Notebook LM to pull out these data for me, like the range of velocities, the range of temperature, the range of pressure. So after that, I had like a beautiful overview. And the best part is it's not like ChatGPT, it does not hallucinate. All Notebook LM knows is what you've uploaded there. This has a good and a bad side. The bad side is if you do not understand something and it's not written in the paper, Notebook LM won't be able to answer that. But the good side is you always know whatever Notebook LM puts out there is from the paper. And it has like these little reference dots in it as well, where it always shows you from which part of the paper it got this information from. So it's really a almost bulletproof method to super easily extract data from all these articles, find research gaps, draw conclusions, analyze different methodologies, you name it, anything that you want. Uh, and it's a free tool. So definitely use it to analyze your research papers. Now we're moving to step number five. So after finding all that paper, sorting them, analyzing them, drawing conclusions from them, we now have to write the literature review, right? And for that, Again, Notion AI. So if you've got like this database uh, where you continuously, while you were reading these papers, filled the database with um, useful information on like methodology, limitations, whatever you found useful for your literature review, you can now use Notion AI to super easily just write that literature review for you. Now you might be like, oh, I know isn't this cheating and AI is not able to write a literature review, but uh, you put in the effort, like creating that Notion database that's the most I mean finding these articles sorting them and creating that database that's the work that you put in you had to go through every single paper and you had to extract key information that you need from your literature review and yeah of course like putting that together is the easy part you already did all the reading and the and, and the extracting data stuff and yeah now it's just about putting all that that you've already put together into a text and this is where AI comes in handy right and you can either take this as a help as an assistant to like really save time and make your research faster or you can stay with the uh, with the traditional methods and write it from scratch. It's up to you. Or you can use a hybrid method like use Notion AI to maybe like just structure it, give you a broad structure and then rewrite it yourself. Whatever you want to do, uh, it's a really great tool to get you started. All right, that being said, this is my five step AI workflow for your literature review. I hope you find this video useful. Remember, AI is your assistant, okay? Uh, the main thinking, again, also for this literature review comes for you, but I do, I 100% like trying these tools out myself. They save so much time if you know how to use them. And so give it a try. Don't be so skeptic about it. Just try it. There won't be no harm from just trying it out. Just get um, 
get impressed yourself. And I hope then this, that this will be useful for your literature review. So I'm wishing you best luck with that. And before I end this video, I want to point out that I have an Instagram channel where I post daily bite-sized academic tips. So scan the QR code here and give it a follow. And also this YouTube channel is super small. It's a baby channel and every like, comment, share and subscription means a lot. So if this was just a little bit of value for you, please leave a like. Leave a like for this. It means a lot because then the YouTube channel can grow and I can produce better videos for you guys. Other than that, wherever you are, I hope uh, you're safe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.